Hey everybody, so I just want to quickly go over uh, the number of valence electrons and electron configurations when we're talking about ions. So for atoms, it's really straightforward and we're following the periodic table. And we know that for, uh, for atoms, the number of electrons equals the number of protons, which is the same thing as the atomic number. But we know for ions, ions have a different number of electrons than atoms. have a different number of electrons than their atoms. And so that's going to be really important. Like this gives them charges, right? They have charges. And if they have a positive charge, they're called cations. And this means that they lost electrons. And if they have a negative charge, they're called anions. And that means that they gained electrons, because electrons are negative. So if we get more negative things, then we end up with an anion. So if you look at the periodic table, group 4 were carbon atoms. That's pretty much the line. Um, so here's my fake, fakey, fake periodic table, just so you guys can remember. Um, group 1, so number of valence electrons, valence electrons, and we're also going to talk about charge really quick. So, um, number of valence electrons the same as group number one, two, skip a few, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this one's eight. So eights are noble gases. All right, I did a really terrible job of drawing this, forgive me. Okay, charges for our ions, plus one, plus two, skip a few, plus three. These one, group four, has no charge. Um, group 5 is negative 3, group 6 is negative 2, group 7 is negative 1, and then 8 again has no charge because those are the noble gases. So we typically don't have ions in group 8, and we typically don't have ions in group 4, which starts with carbon. Um, I'm going to draw that a little bit better. Carbon, no, and group 8 that starts with helium, typically no for the ions. So let's talk about everything else. Um, so I'm just going to pick a couple simple examples. Let's talk about beryllium right here. Beryllium is in group two, so it's going to have beryllium is going to have a charge of two plus. So that means that this is a cation because it's positive. And then let's also talk about um, oxygen two minus oxygen minus two two minus. I don't particularly mind. And, I, and we can tell that this is a charge because it's a superscript to the right with a positive or a negative, right? So that's how we know it's a charge. There are some isotopes um, where the mass is listed up, but it, it would be to the left, so this is an isotope. We don't necessarily have to worry about that, so just keeping that in mind. There's different ways to write different things. Okay, so we know these are ions because they're in groups 1, 2, 3, or 5, 6, 7. We know their charge based on where they are in the periodic table. That's easy squeezy. We also know that the number of valence electrons that they have. So, um, beryllium atom, and we're just going to compare this to the, a the atom, right? The beryllium atom, notice that it has no charge. Right? So the number of valence electrons that beryllium atom has is just the normal way. So this one's going to have two valence electrons. Because beryllium ion has a different number of electrons, it's not two anymore. Okay? So beryllium. Oh, actually, maybe this is a terrible example, but that's okay. So beryllium atom actually has four electrons total. Number of electrons total is going to be four. Um, that's really funny. This example is terrible, but it's still going to work out. Um, and two of those are valence electrons. Beryllium ion, because it has a plus two charge, this means that this lost two electrons, right? Are you sure? I'm positive. So 
it only has two electrons. So it's going to look exactly like helium. And that's the trick with all these ions. They're going to just look like the nearest noble gas. So this is a fun example in that the number of valence electrons is the same in the atom and the ion. That's why this is maybe not the best example. But I have another example too. Okay, but you can see that the total number of electrons change. And actually, if we look at where these valence electrons would be, these would be in the 1s orbital. And these valence electrons, because of 1, and then helium's over here, so it's 1s. And these would be in the 2s orbital. So they are different electrons. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. But we don't need to remember that too much. Okay. Go on to the other side. So in our cations, those are always losing electrons. The ones on the left are the losers. The ones on the right are the gainers. So the gainers have a negative charge because they've gained electrons. This oxygen is our anion, O2 minus, oxygen itself. So this is oxide with the charge. Oxygen itself is the atom. Um, and its number of valence electrons is one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's in group six. Boom. And its total number of electrons is eight. So it's got um, two electrons in the 1s orbital, two electrons in the 2s orbital, and four in the 2p orbital. So its valence electrons are in the 2s and 2p orbitals. Okay, oxide has lost two, has gained two additional electrons. So instead of 10, oh, sorry, sorry, instead of eight, it now has 10 electrons. It has gained two, that's what gives it this minus two charge. Okay, its number of, and if you look at the periodic table, this makes it look like neon. So this is gonna have the same number of valence electrons as neon, which is gonna be eight, right? So this looks like neon, this looks like neon. This looks like helium, this looks like helium. The moral of the story is that ions look like no no noble gases. Whew, mouthful. Ions have the same number of electrons as noble gases, and those are in the group eight. Okay, so when I say same number of electrons, that includes valence electrons, and that includes total electrons. So for beryllium, it was four total electrons, then it moved to two, because that's what helium has. It's closest to helium. Um, and so that's what this is. This is helium's configuration and number of valence electrons. This one's neon's configuration and number of electrons. So now let's go ahead and do electron configuration for beryllium and for beryllium ion. So beryllium, it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, because it's atomic number 4, those are its 4. Beryllium, because it has, only has 2 total electrons, that's its total electron configuration. It has lost these other 2. And now this is the same thing as helium. Same thing as helium again. Okay, now let's look at it, this with oxygen. Oxygen and oxide. So for oxygen, its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. It's got six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, for oxide, we see it as a minus two charge. That means it has two additional electrons. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So now this part is different. And if we look at this, this looks exactly like neon. So the moral of the story, again, is that ions have the same number of electrons 
as noble gases. So their electron configurations look like noble gases, and their valence electrons look like noble gases, and their total electrons look like noble gases. So if you want to know the total number, if you want to know the number of electrons of any atom, or of any ion rather, it's going to be 210, 18, 36, 54, 86. And those same electron configurations associated with the noble gases. I hope that makes it easier.